to see. Yeah, because it was that's what was praised mm. and that was what was okay and that was what was accepted and they didn't go through nothing. They didn't have no hardships, you know. And so it took a minute for me to kind of be like, okay, you know what? Regardless of these things, you know, being a black woman is probably the best thing that a woman can be, you know, because at the end of the day, everybody wants to be us, you know, and in some shape, form, or fashion. When you look at these quote unquote white women, you know, Kim Kardashian, then your Ariana Grande, and things like that, you know, they are, whether it's our skin tone, our style, the way we talk, whatever it is, you know, we are the most emulated thing in the world, you know, and I think, <laughs> as flattering as that is, you know, it's, Negative it's a little positive. bit creepy. <laughs> it's a little bit creepy. Um, I have a two parter question what? for you without like, you know, triggering anything. No, you're <laughs> fine. But it's um, <laughs> Cause it's going to sound like I'm, it's going to sound like I'm triggering, but I'm no, not I'm trying to be trigger alert. You're fine. There's two, there's two parts. Um, one, I, do you feel like black men, are the only type of men that get tired of their own women. And that's why you see a lot of black men in, in interracial relationships and like outside of like other cultures. And then two, the strong black woman mm-hmm. persona, who made that persona? Was it women that kind of, I don't need a man, I'm going to do what I want to do, mm-hmm. strong black woman thing, or is it men just not being there? And kind of like forcing that on women. Okay, let's go back to the first part. You were saying like interracial couples. I think that what we have to go back to as far as how other cultures work. A lot of other cultures are brought up and taught to stay within their race. And it's really big that, you know, I don't care who you date, who you're friends with. But when you marry, you marry, you marry your own woman. You don't marry outside the race because of how deep their culture runs and they don't want to mix cultures because they don't want nobody sacrificing their beliefs in their culture or their identity. Yeah. (laughs) You know? And so we don't have that. So it's easy for us. It's easy for black women and black men to be like, I don't need to be with another black person because that's not ingrained in us. Like it is in them. Same way with white people. That's not ingrained. Well, I mean, uh, racist white folks, <laughs> KKK. You know those folks. Yes, they are very big on not, but that's on a that's on a racial racism level, not a cultural thing. Whoever I had to explain mar- that to somebody. Whoever you, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Whoever you marry, Brittany Ann, they put put raisins in that potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> like that. That's a that's a racial thing. That's not a cultural thing. Yeah. Most Did that people bread come from a box. <laughs> Like other other races, it's cultural about marrying within the race, but with unfortunately with white folks, that's more racism. But I don't, yeah. So I don't, I don't think that it's. I mean, I guess, and not that I think that that's a bad thing that these other cultures are like that. I don't. I, I understand. Preserve it because we don't get, we don't have it. And I think if we did, we would be less inclined to do so. But since we don't, we don't. That's not that important to us. It's, you know, it's whatever. I can mix cultures, whatever. Well, you know why? Because our the black genes, the Ivan Ooze gene, <laughs> we mate with you. We're sucking you into the blackness. <laughs> You're dark that is now. True. <laughs> that <laughs> is true. You're dark now. Yeah, because, you know, yeah. down my line, that was going to be faded away. I had a white grandma. That's what they're going to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, then you're going to have that one, that mm-hmm. one blonde hair, blue eyed baby, and they're going to be real confused. Like, <laughs> Where did this come from? <laughs> I don't think the best thing to it is going to get like a sandy, sandy hair. I don't think blonde is going to. Yeah, I don't think blonde. Uh, what? No, I'm talking about down the line. Make it. I think so. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, my yeah. family's dark. Sand. <laughs> sand. I get you saying. Dark. I got like two, more black. I got like two. Nah, it, they I'm, won't be blonde. I'm going to be somewhere. The, the 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 they won't they won't be blonde. It'll be a brunette color. That's okay. that's where the, that's where it be. You know, at. black people just say brown. Well, you know, or black. he's not. <laughs> <laughs> That's two different colors, though. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. right. You're, right. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Technically, right. I'm a brunette. So what? Right, so answer so the weird. second question. The second question. <laughs> such a weird thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a weird thing to say. But no, I'm a brunette. You like the brunettes? I'm so? a brunette. You like my, you like, he, he, yeah. anyway. But no, the second question. Okay, say that second question again. Um, was, the second um, question was the strong black woman thing. I think that. 
Did you like? Did you guys like? Did you guys wall yourselves in with the way you're? You're with your. It's, it's, it sounds weird. Did you wall yourselves in with your strength? You know what I mean? Did you become? I think Madara. I what? think it. <laughs> I think it's a. You wrote yourself into a corner. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you write yourself into a corner <laughs> being a strong black I woman? I think it's a mixture. I think yes, that that is part of it. But I think it comes from a place of always having to be strong when you go back to slavery, because, of course, that's where the story begins. And we had to be strong then. Mm -hmm. You know, we were we were in the field just like everybody else. And we were bearing children on top of being in the field. And you know what I mean? So it starts there. And then, you know, you you add, huh? Well, you know, yeah. Wait, before you get to that, you add in. And I'm real big on this. The whole the the medical part of how it was taught yeah. that black people don't feel pain like regular people. And so when you, uh, you know, when and even to this day, because I feel like I experienced that myself when I was when I had two of my kids, they like wouldn't listen to me. I'm like, I'm in pain. I know I got this epidural, but I'm in pain. And they kept telling me, oh, you know, you're fine. You're fine. And I'm like. No, no. <laughs> I'm in pain. And I was in like Jordan was probably my hardest birth because I was in pain. <laughs> well, you know, God frowned on that one. You <laughs> had some uh, heathens <laughs> in your vicinity. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, but no, so like <laughs> yeah. when you when you add that in and then when you move into when you add in how the government did take the black men out the picture in the seventies and we as as the black family, we never kind of recovered from that. It was more of us having to be strong. And, you know, it was never a choice. You know, a lot of black women didn't get to choose to be the strong, independent black woman. They had to be, you know. And it it's not, I don't, I I think it's crazy to think that most most women, although they have this, persona of just being a strong woman it doesn't mean that they don't want a man it doesn't mean that they don't need a man it's just that they're acting off of what they know so that they can take care of themselves because a lot of them didn't have anybody to take care of them or they didn't see nobody taking care of their mother or they saw a man who just chose to not take care of their mother i just want to like it's just a fun fact like you saying that just made me think of the statistic of this table of how many of us was didn't have a father at home growing up yeah. Three out of five. <laughs> yeah, literally. Three out of five. Forty percent of this table. And yeah, and so like I think that Do I still count? Mm, I yeah, mean you, Yeah, yeah, technically. Technically. Okay. Yeah. Your father was was he around? Yeah, for for yeah. I think till I was like twelve. Okay. Well, you count. So <laughs> but yeah, and so like I think cigarettes. um <laughs> was it cigarettes or milk? <laughs> <laughs> Which one he gonna get? What do you leave to go get? Or another family. Those are nah, y'all know the situation. <laughs> no, well, technically, I guess it was another family. <laughs> cigarettes. Cigarettes, milk, or another family. But yeah, and so, you know, it's just... But yeah, I think we we upkept that persona of being a strong, independent black woman. And I think the 90s kind of created this thing out of being a strong, independent black woman. I don't need a man, blah, 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 blah. And so... Thanks to Beyonce. Well, no, no, not even that. I think it's just <laughs> it wasn't not Beyonce. No scrubs came out. TLC has some responsibility. Right, for I'm that. gonna say like, come on now, we can't blame Beyonce. And Khalees, well, no scrubs, <laughs> right? No, no scrubs was the quality of the man. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I don't want a hobo. I don't want a trash man. Yeah, I want a man. Well, that no, well, we can say the same thing about bills, bills, bills. That was the same thing. So I don't want no broke spotty. nigga. <laughs> to the left is what was what is that I don't need a man. That's in the two thousand. That's though. early two thousand. No, actually, that's that was later. before mid. Okay, mid two thousands. Mid two thousand. Yeah. yeah. But, but that was yeah. But then she backtracked with ring on it, so you know she's a hypocrite. Cool. But this is not a be- <laughs> bash Beyonce. Session. It always is. No, I, I feel you. She, but she, no, you before <laughs> before but before then, like the nineties, I feel like because that's when that's when we grew up. And so, and, and, you know, we have friends who grew up in, with single moms or, you know, dads who really weren't dads <laughs> in the household and stuff like that. And you had to watch your mother be this strong woman, take care of two, three plus kids. And you feel you as a girl, you, you watch that and it's like, okay, 
I can't trust and depend on a man for nothing. So let me learn how to do and take care of myself. And a man is optional. And that just, it kind of just evolved and rolled into what it is now. And in our community, because it's not like these things don't happen in all cultures. Like, the, like I think everybody suffers with it in some way, but with black people, it's so much, it's so much worse because it really pitted us against each other as men and women. Like there is really this divide amongst black men and black women now more than ever. And that is something that I don't know if we will be able to really come back from. No. I don't think, I think that this is a permanent division. Well, it's a violent attack on masculinity as a whole. So that it's going to hard to fill that gap when that process, that, that ideal is gone in general. Well, because, you know, black women nowadays don't want to, don't want to need a man for anything. They don't want a man to take care of them because in their minds, that's like, oh, now you have power over me. I can't do that. I can't let you have that. And that, I mean, like, the mindset is just wrong, period, when it comes to relationships. And that's, I feel like, <laughs> I feel like that's a whole nother podcast, though. But, you know, like, that's, that's the thing, like, the. the How do we control bitches? <laughs> yeah, that's the name of the podcast. Thanos. Damn, son, where'd you find uh, this? Wait, what'd you say? Thanos. Thanos. <laughs> but, yeah, and so it's just, it's, a, it's. I got the rent, we got the rent stone. <laughs> <laughs> All I need is less utilities. Five more. <laughs> and weave payments. And now I have a well. I lost but no, a stone. And that's a real thing. And maybe we can talk about that next but week. But I, let we can talk about I lost a stone because you have your license now. Mm. <laughs> oh, so now she can physically leave. Yeah. Oh, now I can no, leave. You know why? Car notes under rent, bro. Got it back. <laughs> 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 but no, I think, um, and we can talk about this more next week, but. You know, there is a, a a disconnect when it comes to relationships in the black community, especially with like that under 30 age, too. You know, it's kind of like, yeah. you know, a lot of people try to correlate allowing a man to be a man and provide and do things with power. And that's that's not what it is. It's at the end of the day, it should be. <laughs> I know you not. <laughs> I just know you not over here making faces. He not. It, it just something just I'm trying to take care of you, good. <laughs> <laughs> but Jody, no, Jody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that's Jody, isn't it? Yeah, hey, I think so. Where'd you get it from? I don't know. It just popped in my head, <laughs> bro. You got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 